But for social media, I said hit 1,000 subscribers and get 1,000 followers on Instagram. And for subscribers currently, I am at about 930. And for followers on Instagram, I'm at 890-ish. So close, but not quite. Also for my photography, I wanted to upgrade my camera and I wanted to make a calendar. I didn't do that. I completely forgot about that, but I did upgrade my camera. I also wanted to get into college, which I did, luckily, and I am currently attending college. I also wanted to move out, like move away, and I did do that. I also wanted to get my license, and I did do that, because I waited quite a while to get my license. I wanted to reach 100 sales on Redbubble, and I just released a Redbubble video for how much I've made in the past two years on there, but I can't remember how many sales I got. I think I'm close. I really don't know. I can't remember. I also wanted to have my first paid photo shoot, and I technically did. I photographed a wedding with two other photographers, and I got paid to do that. So I guess that would count as my first paid photo shoot. And I wanted to keep a set amount of money in my bank account and because of college and rent and having to buy stuff on a regular basis for myself so I can be alive, that was not quite possible. But I do still have money in my bank account and I am financially secure, which is good. So far. So those were my goals that I either accomplished or didn't accomplish by 2023. That's okay. Some of those I'm like kind of just put on there just hoping. So what I did last year was I did kind of social media goals, photography goals, education goals, lifestyle goals, and finance goals. So I think I'm going to do the exact same thing. For my social media goals, I'm very close to hitting 1,000, but I think I'm just going to set hitting 1,000 subscribers because I don't want to say hitting 2,000 subscribers before I've even hit 1,000. So I think I'm just going to say 1,000 subscribers for 2022 because you know never know, maybe my growth will be very, very slow. You never know. And I think I'm also gonna stick with 1,000 followers on Instagram, just cause I get followers on Instagram very, very slow as well. I get maybe like two followers every week or something, maybe not even. Also, I'm going to continue that 
I don't know if I should be in social media or finance, but I do want to get my first YouTube paycheck. But I think I'm gonna keep that for finance, so I'm gonna hold off on that. And I'm gonna check my TikTok. For my TikTok, I only have 134 followers, but I'm gonna set a TikTok follower goal, I guess, for like 200 maybe, because it's not a big thing that I do. I pretty much just make TikToks whenever I want to. It's nothing I take too seriously. I mainly do it for my photography. I just do like results of photo shoots, editing, before and afters, and stuff like that. And now for my photography, since I got my first paid photo shoot, I think maybe I'll want to do maybe my first wedding on my own. Get some type of lighting equipment. Yeah, maybe like some lighting equipment, I think. Get a computer that I can use to edit photos and videos on, like a laptop. Okay, I think that's all for photography. Lifestyle. I could put like workout, drink more water, whatever, but I know I most likely wouldn't do that. So I think I'm gonna do overall keep my apartment clean as much as possible. Really work on putting stuff away right then in the moment instead of saying I'll put it away later today and then letting it sit for days. So just overall keeping my apartment cleaner. I don't have a dirty apartment. It just can get quite messy over time if I decide to leave things and then I'm left with one full day where I have to just do a bunch of cleaning and it can get pretty annoying. And also maybe waking up earlier. I can get to school at 8.30 if I want and be able to go into the lab, but I usually get to school maybe 20 minutes before class is supposed to officially start, which is usually 9.30. And so I'm able to sleep in a little bit more. But I think now with this upcoming semester, I want to wake up earlier, get to school as early as possible for when the lab's going to be open and do work. So I think I would kind of also blend it into education, but I'm gonna put for the lifestyle just waking up earlier. And then for education, I'm gonna put getting to school at 8.30 every day to work on something. And I guess also graduate because my program is only a one year program. So I will also hopefully be graduating from this program in April after that sometime. I'm gonna put graduate because I guess that is a goal. And I think that's gonna be it for education. And for finance, as I mentioned earlier, I want to get my first YouTube paycheck this year, hopefully. I'm gonna say hit 100 sales on Redbubble still because I don't think I actually reached that goal. And I really think that's it for financial goals because I do know that I obviously, once I'm done school, I want to be able to make money doing photography and like photographing people for things. But I don't think I'm gonna set myself with a certain amount that I wanna be making each month just yet just because I really don't know if like it's quite unpredictable at the moment I don't know who's gonna want to hire me you know if I say making $500 a month with my photography that might be super unrealistic like nobody might want to hire me getting $500 might be very very difficult and so I don't want to set that goal just yet since I don't quite know how that is going to go that is it for my goals so I want to hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, I want to get 1,000 followers on Instagram, and I also want to get 200 followers on TikTok. I want to shoot a wedding all by myself. I want to maybe get some lighting equipment, and I also want to get a MacBook, pretty much. I want to keep my apartment cleaner, and I also want to wake up earlier. I want to get to school uh, at 8.30 so I can work on something every single day and I want to graduate. I also want to get my very first YouTube paycheck and I want to reach 100 sales on Redbubble. So those are all of my 2023 goals. Maybe also buy my own car. We're going to set that to the side right now because I don't think that's a priority at the moment. One thing I will also be doing is I will be keeping a commonplace book. This is a very, very, very tiny book that I got from a dollar store and it just has regular lined paper and I plan on making it my commonplace book. So whenever I hear a quote from something, I read a quote from something, I hear a random piece of information that I think I like that maybe I would want to remember later, I can put it in here. No, this won't be a notebook for school. My instructor tells me something, this it will not be going into this book, that will be going into my school book. This book is for purely things that I personally want to memorize, not because I need to memorize it, not because I think someone else wants me to memorize it because I want to know it and I want to be able to go back to it like a quote from a book 
I also think I might want to budget a little bit. I'm relatively a pretty low spender, but I think I want to budget. Maybe set aside a certain amount of money that I can use to spend on takeout each month and set aside a certain amount of money that I use on groceries so I can keep myself constrained to this certain amount of money so I don't go spending way too much one month because I want to eat out seven times. I also think I want to read more. I have a lot of books. I got some more books for Christmas. That video will be coming out next week. You guys can see what I got for Christmas and I did get some books so you guys can see that. But I want to read more. I don't think like maybe like a book a week because I like to get sidetracked <laughs> a lot. And so I think if I do maybe like a book every two weeks, something like that. I think that is gonna be all for this video. I don't really know what else I would do. If I was at my apartment, I would like clean or maybe do some grocery shopping or something, but I am not at my house and I am very far away from it. So buying stuff would be pointless. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like it if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you'd like to see next. Subscribe for more of my videos. We're almost to a thousand. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.